So I'm, I'm getting near to the end of my lathe rebuild now. Um, and yesterday I went out, I uh, needed some more degreaser. I was just going to go for uh, the gunk, um, which I buy from Halfords here in the UK. Um, but I was curi curious to see um, what screw fix had on offer. Um, they had this, it's a bigger container than what the gunk comes in, so I was getting more um, quantity but for the same price, so I thought I'd uh, give it a try. And to be honest, I've been really uh, impressed with this, I wish I'd found it sooner. It is the best degreaser um, that I've used, um, and I'll show you in a second. It's actually even uh, stripped some of the paint work off some of the cast iron items I have. Um, now, in some circumstances that might not be a good thing, but for me it was, so uh, if you don't want to strip paint, you just want to clean it, then maybe this is a bit too strong. But for what I wanted to do, this was ideal. Um, I wasn't looking forward to cleaning the paint off, it has been difficult so far on this project. Um, but this has really impressed us. I'll show you some pictures now of the parts you're about to see before I clean them when I first remove them from the lathe um, and then I'll show you what or how they turned out so in this container I just filled it with the degreaser just put some gloves on And the other thing with this degreaser, um, unlike gunk, it doesn't particularly have a strong smell. Um, gunk can be quite overpowering, it can fill the room with a smell. This actually smells quite soapy, is the best way to describe it. It's not overpowering at all. I can't, I can't smell it here, um, from where I'm standing. I mean, look at that. It's just taking the paint right off, which is what I want. So in my opinion, this is the best uh, degreaser I've ever used. Um, and this is just the process I've been following. Look, you can see that paint just coming straight off with the using my wife's toothbrush. Just comes straight off there. That red there is the primer, um, which it's softened up as well. Um, the paint on top just comes off in like bits of skin, um, but the primer just seems to go back to its fluid form. And as I say, um, I wish I had got this degreaser sooner, it would have saved us a lot of time. Uh, I had been using a WD-40 degreaser which was nowhere near as good as this and a lot more expensive and you use a lot more of it obviously because it's in an aerosol. Whereas this you can fill a container and just use it as like a cleaning bath. 
Now that bottle there, it cost me about eight pounds from Screwfix, and I'll definitely be uh, getting it again. So that was it really. I was just so impressed with this degreaser that I wanted to share it with you all. Um, highly recommended, and hopefully uh, it's going to help me get this project finished sooner. I mean, look at these these parts. They're a lot cleaner than they were at the outset and it didn't really take a lot of effort so I've just had them soaking in here look at that, that was all painted and it's just coming straight off so um, stay tuned, check out my, my YouTube channel for the rest of this project and uh, I'll have a new part coming soon, hopefully get this finished I'm hoping in the next two weeks. I have got some parts being shot blasted, uh, ready for painting them. So hopefully we'll get this finished before Christmas. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. Thank you.